Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Does anybody remember this game called Surviving the Aftermath? You know, it's the game where society has collapsed, there's meteors raining down from space, destroying cities, there's pockets of radiation that are flowing around, and it's our job to build up this little colony to survive the aftermath. Base building game with survival mechanics, pretty cool. Now, I'd also like to thank Paradox Interactive for sponsoring this video. The game is 25% off for the last time before the 1.0 full release on November 16th. There's been a ton of updates since I last played the game and since it was last launched in early access about two years ago, like the entirely reworked resource management system, there's a new research tree, and tons of other things. And the 1.0 release also includes new endgame challenges for the storyline as well. So make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to download the game for yourself. So let's jump in and create a brand new save file since I haven't played the game in over a year. And check this out. We get to pick our flag. I like this one. Look, a beautiful nice cyan with a dying rat on the front of it. Or, you know, straight up fire. We could also have a lucky green. That actually kind of looks cool in sort of a non-cool sort of way. I like this one, though. That's kind of nice. Red, orange. That yellow's all right. Some of you are saying, like, no, Blitz, you have zero taste and stuff. So we're just going to go do this. Yep. Oh, the colony name shall be Blitztopia, and it will be glorious. Ah, the colony motto, under the shade we flourish. That sounds like a terrible motto. I love it. Ooh, here we go. We have a torn down gate with our leader sitting right here at the front. A whole heap of trash and berries for us to exploit, and this will be beautiful. A new home. Build a campsite to mark the center of the new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area. Thanks, coach. This is exactly what I want to do. Let's slap that thing in right here in the middle of the trash piles. He's like, look at this heavy backpack. I'm carrying the weight of this colony on my shoulders as he goes and slams that hammer into the thin air and building up a magical colony all by himself. Ta-da! The campsite has been constructed. Now the people are waiting for a signal flare. Let's shoot that into space and welcome the colonists to our trash heap. We just found the local city dump and we're like, yeah, this looks like a good place to live. And now the inhabitants are coming, prompted by the signal flare. The rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. Oh, look at all of them. That's amazing. We have a buttload of first settlers here. There's 12 of them. Four of them are children who can't do anything. The tent is a flimsy shelter. It's cheap short-term emergency solution. And that's like slightly worse than this one. Actually, it's better than that one, but it must be heated during winter storms. So let's pop up a little bit of tents here. How many? We can do three in each one. We need 12, so that's four I can count. So we'll add a few extras just in case some random stranger wants to come join us. We'll put in a nice road between here, and that's unfortunate. I did my math wrong. I thought there was a gap in there. And my little peasants will go. Build, little peasants. Your future depends on your survival. Honestly, that's kind of a dumb statement. Also, there's a lot of deer over here who will turn into food. They actually look like zombie deer or something. They're kind of cool looking. Like the mixture of a zebra and a deer with like a gigantic rack on them. Those things are cool. I want a mutant pet deer. That'd be fun. Nice, the roads are created. Now it's time to get our stockpiles up and running. So let's grab a nice little stockpile. We're gonna put it over here in the resource collection area. We're also gonna get a food storage area right next to that. And of course, build up the road in between. All right, food storage. We gotta move that work area so we can get lots of beautiful berries to collect. And we can do the same thing with the regular stockpile. Move that and get the wood. Is there any wood close? Yeah, those are. Let's grab this one first. And we probably need some water to get a water well. We'll grab that in over here. And I'm going to do a second one right away. Uh, you know what? Let's actually get the clean water storage going in right next to it. Now, these things probably need to get a bunch of plastic. And in order to get plastic, we probably need to get the plastic finder. So let's grab that recycler up. And I'd like to put it up in here, but I don't have the resources to do that. So I'm going to slap it in right here. And we're going to prioritize that building. I know we have water shortages. I know. Don't tell me that. I don't have any plastic to build this with. So let's just cancel this and then we can reuse the plastic. There we go. Probably a better idea to have a well than storage if we can only afford one. Also, it's raining. We could just drink rainwater and we can tell them to work on gathering the plastic right here because that's in my way and I don't like it right now. Okay, we have a couple people that are dying of thirst. That's fine. They were the weak ones. Um, yeah, there we go. 
It was Theo. Theo just died literally underneath the water storage, right next to the well. Oh, <laughs> someone else just died. Whoops. <laughs> uh, we didn't really need Harrison. Um, they were, they didn't really, they had a promising career. I don't really know what their career was going to be, but definitely not living here. And now the good news is we have no additional water needs. But unfortunately, that means I have to build a burial pit to bury these people so they don't decay right in the middle of my base. Ah, beautiful well number two has just been created. The building is operational, and that is good news. So I do want to start rebuilding the gate. We're going to do that pretty soon, but I think it might be a better idea to get that burial pit up and running. So I'm going to kind of move that into an area we're never going to use, like back in this corner. And we'll slap that burial pit in right about here on this side, on this side. This side's better. This building has a ton of wood in it too. We're gonna be able to remove that. You know, actually, why don't we just fix it up? We can move in, that'd be nice. But no, we're just gonna live in these lean-to sheds here. Oh no, some shortcuts must have been made during building. What? <laughs> Poor foundations. Ha dang, not everyone is equally skilled in the art of building, but one of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad at it. His tent looks like it collapsed at any moment. All right, fine, we'll improve that tent with the wood. Oh, nice, we get 20 happiness colony-wide, that's awesome. And the burial pit is created, so we can throw people in there now. But Sylvia is now irradiated. That's not good, she's glowing green. She's gonna turn into a ninja turtle. There you go. Throw them in there, throw the dead bodies inside. Well done, Sylvia. I'm gonna fire you as soon as this goes live, so I don't need you anymore. Ah, uh, there we go, no workers assigned. Yay, that's kinda good, because we don't need anyone working there. I'm also gonna make an outhouse right next to it. Because I think that's a fun idea. That'll be good. And let's start gathering that wood from down here before it gets irradiated and filled up with sewage and junk. Yeah, collect that. Now, if we build the outhouse, then they should get that shower, because that's a hygiene. And the outhouse gives hygiene. There's two additional things I want to do. One of them is get a trapper's system up here. We're going to get you rolling right about... Not there. Right about here, that's what I said. Actually, that's a really bad spot. Let's cancel that. And put it over here instead. Actually, by the forest where things can actually be trapped. I'd also like to get a medical tent or two made because bad things are going to happen eventually. And look, hygiene is leaving them. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, someone was in there. How do you feel now? Isabella's like, ah, uh, I got lucky. Evidently not lucky enough. Oh, no, Sylvia was the one who had radiation sickness. Ah, oh, that's too bad. If you were created, we could have done that. I should have done one at a time. Oh well, poor Sylvia. I guess we'll just have to bury them. And work has begun to pile up too. Mm. Let's tell him to snap out of it. Wait, lazy solutions? It's a busy day of work and duties, yet one colonist oddly stopped working. He's lying on his back, simply staring at the open sky. When questioned he, why he's lying there, he smiles a wide, half-toothless smile inside. After everything that's happened, we were given a second chance at life, so why don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna join him. What happens? Oh, I got, what did I get? I got some 10, I got 10 of something, but negative happiness to the colony. That's not good. A colonist has an idea. Some old fashioned handicraft? Oh boy. You need fabric? I don't think we have any fabric. I'm gonna try though. That'd be nice. Oh nice, we get five clothing from her. That's awesome. We must have had some. Clothing helps in the winter time, if you're wondering. Yeah, cold, cold and helps against pollution. And we're building up the second medical tent. But I have them kind of turned off right now because there's no patients. So why have a doctor if there's no patients? Ah, uh, the other one is here again. We're gonna fire them yet again. So now this thing, it's time to build that gate. So there's the gate, 190 wood, 175 plastic. We can do it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but let's do it. Natalie? Oh, Natalie's irradiated. We're going to have to fix her up. Okay, getting treated. 20%. And ta-da! Now we can fire you again. Good job, Ethan. I'm proud of you. Oh, balls! That was a straight-up meteor that just hit us. Okay, it didn't really do anything. But at least we can start gathering resources for this. We have plenty of food. We have a decent amount of water. We just need to get the wood, which is coming from this area, because that one got not picked up. We've got the trapper. We can move that to trap. That's actually hunting. We'll go deep into this forest right here. And we should start getting a lot of food. Production limit. That's actually nice. We're getting a lot of production from that. We can maybe hold off on that, because we do have a lot of food. 
I like it when it's 100% efficient. That means nobody's dying. So happy about this. This trash pile's almost fully picked up. That's fantastic. Yes! I think it... Oh, we have an underground plastic pile now. Okay, we're not going to do that because we have to have a plastic extractor. But we can move this work area over here to get this other plastic. And I can only get one of them. Also, my berries are almost emptied and... That wood just got taken care of, too. So we can gather these. Oh, that's really nice. Those are really good areas. Ooh, rabbit season. The colonists want to try out a new trap. So let's try out a new trap. Maybe somebody will get injured. Yes, two colonists got radiation sickness. Fantastic. If I could just build up this thing, then we can go outside and start getting stuff. Build it. Come on. There we go. Our halftime medic, halftime builder. Oh, great. We have a pandemic now. That's not good. Uh, gather antibiotics to speed up the healing process. Increasing the colony water consumption. Thankfully, I have a lot of water consumption and not many colonists. And I like how we can predict a pandemic. Wouldn't that have been nice, like, you know, two years ago? And then if we could predict it, it would be over faster. Is this game real life? Come on, 74%. Do it before nighttime. I really want to send out my, my workers outside to gather and scavenge. Yes, there we go. Into the new world. Congratulations, you've rebuilt the gates and gained access to the world map. Let your specialists explore and you can defend yourselves from inevitable raids. Yay, you can go into the world map. Yay, you can go to the world map too. Yay, we have more colonists that want to join us. Seven adults and one child bringing a lot of stuff, including beef jerky. I'll accept anyone into my colony that brings beef jerky. Thank you. Wow, also this is critically contaminated. Okay, let's decontaminate the toilet so nobody else gets sick. And colonial climate. The recent stormy weather might have cleared the air around some of the villages might have been accessible due to high amounts of pollution. Digging too deep is still harmful in those areas because of intense follows. Might be something valuable worth looking for. Nice. And that is on the world map here. So we can get science. Let's send out my scientist to get science. That'd be a good idea. And my scavenger to scavenge tools. Also looks like we got a fighter idol in the colony. She must have came with that last group. I'll have her explore some more. Maybe we can find some bandits to kill. Oh, pandemic is here. I don't want to die. Neither do I, Tamara. I think that can go for any of us right now. Oh, yeah, scientists ready for action. Did you explore the world? What do we have down here? Oh, these are the, the villages for the climate thing. Those don't really look fightable. So let's explore this area too. Wow, and these are dangerous. There's a lot of hazards here. I'm feeling the need to build up another medical tent. Four infected colonists, that's not great. Six infected colonists. Oh boy, this could get dicey pretty soon. Can I get another medical tent in here? I can. We can just shut them off when we don't need them. Oh wow, and we are using up a ton of water too. That's fine. Okay. It's spreading. Let's see, did you do this world? Nice, we can go hunting. You can go hunt, wow, she's only got a, I mean, you should be able to win that. I'm gonna send you over, that'll be your job. I kinda feel bad for you, but we're gonna do it anyway. And the farm has been scavenged for 19 tools and $151. No, I want you to come over here and start getting the candy bars from the decaying houses. You also got 500 science points from the museum. That's very nice of you. Can I go research something else? That's a research outpost. Let's just explore this. I don't really want them to come back to our infected colony. Oh, this takes a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of people. That treatment time is terrible. Now someone's yelling inside of a tent. <laughs> Muffled cries for help start echoing in the shelters. Inside, a large hole is opened up on the ground, swallowing a poor colonist. Whoops, the shelter is apparently built on top of a sinkhole. I guess we'll make a ladder. Oh, 20 happiness. Everyone's super happy now, even though there's a pandemic happening here. I think I would like to hide underground in my <laughs> tent for a while. Yay, somebody got healed. Call us Dwayne is infected. Dwayne, where are you, my dude? He must be in one of these. I think we did it. I think we've done it. The buildings can be idled again. Hmm? And we just beat the pandemic. Very nice. We're also doing the battle. She's got a gun. She's taking these guys out. The dead rats are about to be dead. 
And this kind of looks nice up here. We can find some antibiotics. Oh, that looks really not good. The dead rats over here too. So we're gonna try to scavenge this just to get the antibiotics. How did you do? Ooh, 52 resources. So the good news is we can now upgrade our skinning cabin to a hunting cabin. Let's research that. Should take up a hundred of our research points. I'd also like to get basic farming going on pretty soon. And I'd also like to build up a straight up warehouse here, but those berries are in my way. So I should probably move this anyway to get those berries gone. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey now. You're an all-star. Get your meteors on. That's not cool. Why did they have to land directly on top of my base? Like there's a whole big area here and those meteors are like, I want to screw this specific spot. I, exactly. Oh, the tent is critically damaged. So that's because it was on fire. Wow. That was rough. <laughs> Don't like that. Don't do that again, meteors. This dude took a meteor to the leg. He used to be an adventurer like me. Yeah, I'm gonna open this up again. He can go get healed. Ah, cool. The skinning has been completed. Let's get another science going. We want that basic farming going on. And now I should be able to upgrade this into another level. Beautiful. We can get the skin in the cloth, or the meat in the cloth. Uh-oh. Hostiles in my colony. What the world? What are these things? Rat beetle? Big voracious animals? Okay. I don't have any close people either to defend my base. Can you make it back? Oh, you can't quite make it back this turn. That's not good. My specialist can't help. We're gonna have to battle this the old-fashioned way. Using majestic deer. There you go, fellas. Uh-oh. Yeah, just beat the schnozzle berries out of them. Maybe we can eat them to gain their strength. Oh, this isn't good. It is fine. We're all right. Everything's everything's decent. Yeah, victory! <laughs> I love that. Oh, nice. And the hunting cabin, cabin is now ready. We're going to move that area. We can now hunt up here for the deer. Just kidding. That was bad efficiency. Why would anyone suggest that right here? And I can add some people to help work. Oh, yes! We killed the hostiles. She's like, yes, I love that. Oh, we only took barely any damage. Do I get any loot from them? Oh, I do. Antibiotics. Yoink. This guy's still welding here and uh, still ravaging through supplies on this side. Perfect. Ooh, Alex was born. We made a baby. Another child has been born. Thank you, Dwayne. Now I can make small fields to grow vegetables. This looks like a pleasant area to grow things in. I will build two of them. Then I will make a dirt path that connects something to somewhere else. Much like that. So we can walk there faster. I'd also like to build another water well somewhere. This looks like a good spot. And eventually we can make it to water so we can build fishing and steal water directly from the lake. So let's plant up some corn. Hmm, it has pollution. I don't like that. Flax gives us fiber. Whatever, we're doing it. We'll do a corn of potatoes. And we'll do some soil studies to make them plant faster. Okay, I gotta do it. I'm feeling like I need to. I gotta go over to the lake. Oh, that's a long way. They're like, nah, we don't wanna go that far. Is this even lake? That's not a lake. Why am I doing this? Stop. Now they can build it, they're free. What I should build instead is a scout tower so I can see what else is in the fog of war. We'll pop one in way up here. And now I can upgrade the communal eating. I do have just barely enough research, so that will be perfect. And I can build up a cookhouse. So we're gonna visit that first village for that mission. Ah, colonial climate. After arriving, the first location makes it immediately evident that it is not safe. Deadly fumes are rising from the ground. Whole village is covered in eerie hue. Going to that place would be a death sentence. Hopefully other destinations are worth the trip. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Not going into a place that's gonna kill us. All right, the scout tower is completed. We're gonna start seeing more of the area around here now. There's some pretty nice runes that have a lot of scrap metal in it. And we can get another scout. Interesting. I like you, I'm gonna recruit you with 700 money instead of 60 meat, because that's kind of expensive. And now I can have you scout things, because that's what scouts do. Go over here and view that area. That's nice. Oh, cool. That plastic thing just got eradicated too. Time to move on to another one. Where is another plastic deposit? There's two right up here. That's kind of a long ways away though. Let's do this one first. There's that cookhouse. Produces into better food. We do need metal though, which we don't have yet, but we can build a forester, which would be nice. Let's pop that in. Should I do it over here or over here? Now nah, we're gonna stay away from the contamination. Dwayne's now an adult, and a specialist. I just thought Dwayne was an adult already. 
Maybe that was the baby. Maybe they grew up in like one day. That doesn't look good. That whole area is red. I didn't want you to walk over here either, by the way. I'm gonna have you go explore this thing down here. Do we have water up here yet? Has this scout tower made it work? Come on, I don't want to zoom out far. Oh, that scout tower is almost as far out as possible. I think I'm gonna build another scout tower on the far left side of the map here, on my path that I built. Ragged people are gathering outside the gate, desperate enough to do anything. Anything, you say? Okay, I can give food? I mean, I do have plenty of food, I think. 96? Sure. You can do that. All they give us 300 money. All right. That's fine. I like money. A group of survivors has arrived at the gate now. Do I get more? One adult, four elders, and two children. They bring fiber. This isn't very good. I don't really want elders. I kind of feel bad. Um, I'm going to reject them. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that wasn't a good idea. I mean, it was a fine idea, but I feel bad for them. Ooh, the Colonial Climate, step number two. The next spot looks fire better. This place is definitely polluted. Should be safe in order to check out a short while. Specialists arrive at the center of the village and notices three different storehouses built along barren dirt roads. Probably safe to loot one of them. Do we want the food, the loot? Ooh, this one's nice. Or the warehouse. Uh, let's do this. Metal plus gas. That sounds good. That's actually some really good loot. Mines will steal the candy bars when we're down here too, right? Oh, look at this big brain idea. We're making up some firewood before winter freezes us. We also have a logging camp that is building up the trees over there. And I'm gonna build up a lumber yard right over here as well. Oh, and the last leg of the journey is Radder, modest shanty town. It's obviously been abandoned long ago due to pollution. The fog thick and erratic, shifting with the wind. Unfinished construction site between the rooms seems most promising. It's at the higher ground, not too deep in the settlement. Places have pre presented and expected. Let's approach that. Oh, meds and food, parts and silver. I like the idea of meds. Let's do that. I'm going to take the medical devices. Nice. We got it. We returned the quality. We got the we got the the quest done. That's awesome. And you are also completed. You got me a bunch of shirts and some money. I'm going to bring you down here and gather science points from the museum. Oh, great. The winter storm is here. Burners keep shelters and workplaces warm inside their effective radius. Colonists expose the freezing, get cold, turn to hypothermia, causing heat loss. That's not good. Also, animals and ranches can die. We're going to have to build up. Where was that now? The burner right here. Hopefully, this keeps everything nice and warm. Should probably do it over here instead because that's where my buildings are. That shouldn't be too bad to make. We can build up a few of those around our base so other things keep warm too. One's over here. That'd be good. Nice. The burner is active, or it will be pretty soon. We have the burners ready to go. I don't know if that's going to work for us, but we're still gathering berries from here. We have some good food stockpile from the corn and potatoes that we got, plus quite a bit of venison from our new hunting shack. And the winter storm is upon us. This is not good. This is not good at all. Our poor crops are going to freeze. Hopefully not. They might still be able to grow after the winter storm is over. The burners are burning. The tents are pretty warm, it looks like. People do not like this, though. They're getting irradiated. Ooh, some handicraft? Are you going to build us some more clothes? Okay. Yeah. It didn't work last time. It didn't work this time. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, the little fiber has been ruined and mangled in a patchy poor made coat. That's okay. We still have 30 clothes, and it should be fine. Oh, no. A colon is mutated. <laughs> That's not good. Let's turn on a second one of these real quick. We have a couple of radiated people. Where are they getting the radiation from? Maybe walking by that pollution pit. Ah, maybe working over here with that pollution pit. We can fix that in the future, but we need more science. Here's a water pond. Finally, we find a water pond. I'm going to build a scout tower over here by it. Ah, nice. Finally, there's our 240 resources. The scavenging is complete. Now, you don't have to bring that home, right? We should have that in our base. Yes, we do. Nope. It totally killed our fields. But Joseph was bored, so that's going good. We're going to survive this. Gatherers are gathering. They have a good idea. A small feast. Let's do a large feast. We have plenty of food. A large feast for everyone. Happiness for days. That's good in the middle of a storm. It's nice to have a feast. Somehow it got even colder out here. i turn that off. I need more people to work. How much firewood do we have? 51. That should be sufficient right now. Madison was born. Speaking of more people. 
I'm just glad that we can start doing some centralized repairs and then get the metal scavenging pretty soon. That is the 225. We have 248. That should be beautiful. Oh, what's this? A hooded figure at the gate? A man approaches his gate dressed in an old beaten trench coat and burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives. Can I let him in? Yeah, let's let him in. Let's see what happens. Oh. He looks around nervously, walks around the country. Cut colony. He finds a storage he bolts towards and grabs whatever food he can find before anyone realizes that the man nimbly slips between the closing gates. Guards looked after him. Okay. He ate some of our food. That's He could have asked for it and I would have given it to him. Joker's got to come in here and steal our stuff. Oh, and check this out. I straight up just found another village. Can you move over there? Go ahead and have a seat. We can trade with them. Trade status unavailable. That's too bad because they kind of like me. And I like his hair. And he's got a pretty nice beard, too. He's got a lot of stuff to offer. Nice. The metal scavenging is now completed. And I can build a scrapper, which gets that metal from the things. So we can put that, like, right over here because it's closest to it. We're going to have to build a little bit more road. We could actually build a road all the way up there, couldn't we? Sorry, mutant deer things. We'll build a road up to you. All right. So the scrapper is completed. I can move up here and start gathering scrap metal, which is awesome. And that means I can also build up our cookhouse right over here for our villagers to eat at. A group of survivors has arrived at the gate. We need to make a decision. Oh, we have three adults, two elders, and two children, plus some clothing, some sturdy clothes, canned fruit. I'll take you guys. We need, we do need a few more people. And you know what else? The winter storm is almost totally gone. It's almost done. We have a little town now. That's awesome. Six colonists are injured. I guess we can open these back up. Get everyone healed up, and just like that, the winter storm is over. So I tell you what, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video of Survive in the Aftermath. Hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this game, and I think you will too. So make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to get it for 25% off until the game launches as the full 1.0 on November 16th. So thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the channel members and Patreon supporters, including Alan H., Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J., Teddy Epius, Desby, Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M. Rail, Splatter Sacks, Iffy Spear, Joe B., Obi-John Kenobi, Fury Arrow, and Doug Rules 2.0. 